Hello everybody! How is everyone doing on their weekend? Um, I was going to do this recipe on Sunday, but I decided to do it today because I am craving these cookies. So, switched up the days on you guys. Sorry about that. Um, I'm just going to share this in a couple places and then we will get cooking. I think this recipe may take us a little bit more time with all of the steps but we will get started shortly. Um, and you guys know the deal. Once you start watching, just make sure you leave a reaction on the video to get entered into the giveaway that we do at the end of the show. So share it to your personal page. Hello, Rosemary, how are you? Share it to your personal page. Share it in a cooking group. Tag your friends. Just don't start a watch party because then I can't see the wonderful people that are watching through the watch party and I can't talk to them. I can't see their comments. So just make sure that if you want to share it, you just share it straight up through your page um, and not a watch party. Abby, we are having a good weekend. I hope you are as well. Um, I've still just been busy painting, painted the kitchen wall, painted um, a lot of the trim, started painting the doors last night. So just busy, uh, keeping myself busy painting. If I'm not painting, I'm usually cooking. So that is how my days have been spent. Hi, Timmy, how are you? Patty, hello. Tracy, Rose, how are you guys all doing? I'm excited for this recipe today, you guys. I love peanut butter cookies, and these sound amazing. Um, so we're gonna get started on it right away, because you know, guys, cooking, cooking cookies takes a little bit of time, so we're gonna just jump right in. Hello, I hope you guys are enjoying your day as well. Mine is good. Anticlimactic, which is always kind of nice on the weekends. Um, hello, hello, everybody. I'm so excited too, Eileen. I love peanut butter, um, and I really like butterscotch too, which is going to be in the center of these peanut butter cookies. Um, I made homemade vanilla bean ice cream last night, and my husband is standing here carefully cleaning out the very last bits of the ice cream because he loved it so much, which is... <coughs> Kind of awesome. He's Great, a, greatest thing ever. He's a huge ice cream fan, so I'm glad I actually found a dessert that he wants to eat all of because that's always fun. Hello, Jennifer. How are you? You guys, Jennifer um, and um, another one of our viewers is hosting a Pampered Chef party. So <clears throat> if you guys missed the opportunity to buy through me during my Pampered Chef party, there is another one going on. So if you're interested, hit up Jennifer Hans. For the link to her Pampered Chef party, there's another one of my viewers that's a part of that party too. Um, hello, Angela and Cindy. Megan, your husband loves anything peanut butter. We love anything peanut butter. So I started to preheat my oven to 350. We are gonna get started on this truffle filling so that we can get them in the fridge and cooling so that we can scoop them a little bit better. <laughs> you took a nap, very exciting times. Hello, Carrie, how are you? So I'm gonna take um, my butterscotch chips. I need about a cup of butterscotch chips. Pour those in there. Then I'm going to use my handy dandy measuring cup. Courtney, how are you? And I need a fourth of a cup of creamy peanut butter. I love Jif. Jif creamy peanut butter is my favorite. It's what I was raised on. Um, it is my all-time favorite kind of peanut butter. Nothing can be some Jif. Um, I do that online grocery shopping and they were out of Jif peanut butter one time and they gave me Skippy and I was so sad. <laughs> I ate it, but I was really um, heartbroken that it wasn't my Jif kind of peanut butter. You would think they would know. People are, um, who like peanut butter definitely have a brand of peanut butter that they like. Hello, Jason. How are you? Thank you for sharing. Jenny, hello, and Charity. So I'm using my measuring cup, you guys. I love this thing. So I just plop that peanut butter in there. Then you just scrape it off the bottom, and it cleans out the sides for you. Completely clean every time. Love it when it comes to peanut butter, mayonnaise, anything sticky, ooey, gooey that you hate scooping out of a measuring cup. You spend forever scooping it out of the measuring cup and then you have to scoop it back in and it's just a nightmare. Hello, Amber and Ashley. Jeff is your favorite too, Mary Jo, awesome. So we have our butterscotch and our peanut butter in here in a microwave safe bowl. We're gonna heat it for a minute, minute and stir it. Um, the trick with heating up um, butterscotch chips, chocolate chips, anything like that, you guys, is they may not look melted 
after the time. So always make sure that you stir them first before you pop them back in because more than likely they may not look melted, but once you touch them, they will start to melt and come together. So just keep an eye on them in the microwave. Always start um, small and then you do even smaller increments after that. Kind of like when you're um, um, making that. Um, butter softers, cream cheese, you want to do short little blasts so that you don't take it too far. You don't want to burn your butterscotch chips. You don't want to burn your butter, anything like that. Hello, Cindy. <laughs> Alexandria, you're so sweet. Hello from Ohio. Thank you for hanging out with me. Hello, Brie. How are you? Natasha, how are you? Laura, hello. I'm a GIF girl through and through, Sherry. So we have um, our timer on for a minute, you guys, of cooking up our butterscotch chip and our peanut butter. We're gonna stir it and um, get it until it's nice and smooth and mixed together. Then we're gonna pop it in the refrigerator. It says for 10 to 15 minutes um, so that it can come back up to a solid state so that we will be able to scoop it into um, little truffles are what we're gonna be putting in the middle of these peanut butter cookies. I've never made these before, but I am so excited, you guys. I love peanut butter cookies, and the thought of peanut butter and butterscotch just starts to make my mouth water. I love scotcheroos. I don't know if anybody knows what those are. Um, I don't know if it's a Midwest thing or a, wet, or a West Coast thing, um, but my Aunt Linda used to make scotcheroos and they're like Rice Krispies with peanut butter and butterscotch in them. And then they have a top layer of chocolate and they are absolutely amazing. Hello, Diana and Marissa. Jennifer, awesome, go to the store, be careful, you guys, be safe when you go to the store, always wash your hands, you know, all the basic stuff. Hello from Minnesota, you love peanut butter cookies. I do too, you guys, raise your hand if you've ever had a scotch -a -roo. We grew up on Skippy, but we buy Jif Natural now. I do have Jif Natural today as well, so that's awesome. These cookies look great. My grandson is allergic to peanuts. I am making those cheeseburger bowls you made on Thursday, you guys. Those cheeseburger bowls didn't even last for leftovers. We ate them all that night, and there was a lot of them. Hello, Lacey, how are you? We are patiently waiting for you to come over and hang out with us. Franny, hello. Jason, how are you? All right, so I have this mixed in here until it's nice and smooth, you guys. Already smells amazing. So I'm gonna pop it into the fridge so that it can harden up a little bit. I'm gonna scrape down the sides of the bowl so that the whole mixture is kind of in itself so that when we go to make the little truffles out of it, we're not having to scrape down the sides of the bowl. Yes, you make scotcheroos here in Vermont and the kids haven't had them in forever. My mom makes great scotcheroos, although I really don't know that because I don't like peanut butter. Also making the cheeseburger bowls tonight. Awesome, you guys. Hey, Stacks. Butterscotch, peanut butter, scotch roos. Yes, you guys, scotch roos are the best. Awesome, awesome. Franny, I'm sorry you can't see me. That's so strange. Be there around 3.30 or 4. Awesome, Lacey. All right, so I'm popping this into the fridge. Put my peanut butter, butterscotch mixture into the fridge, and now we are going to get started on the cookie part of it. So what we are going to do is we are preheating the oven at 350. Um, I am super excited to use my new Pampered Chef cookie sheets. Um, I've never owned an actual cookie sheet where the edges are flat like this, so I'm really excited to use it. Um, even more excited that my Amazon baking sheets actually fit on this, where my other pans, they were always kind of curled up over the edges. So I'm super, super excited, you guys. Super excited. Brent, I know, sculptures are so good. Um, I always try to make them and they're never as good as my aunt's. So I'm gonna do two baking sheets like this, you guys. We're making about 21 cookies, it says. So I have two baking sheets lined like that in a large bowl using our stand mixer and our paddle attachment. Um, 
I was trying to melt chocolate chips the other day to dip strawberries and could not figure it out. I tried the stove instead of microwave though. Um, T, I ran into that problem yesterday when I was teaching the kids how to um, make our banana treats and there was like a handful of us on the live video that couldn't get our melt chocolate to melt. So I was really kind of bummed about it. We were even adding shortening to the butter, I mean shortening to the chocolate chips and it still was like this that fudgy, super stiff mixture, no matter how much, I almost added like an entire stick of shortening into it to try and get it to be dippable and it was not working. So I'm not sure T, I wish I could help you, but I had a fail as well. Hello Linda, how are you? Um, Sherry, I should, I definitely should. Let's do that next weekend, you guys. I will teach you how to make scotch roux. So in our large bowl, you guys know me, I always wipe my bowls out because I never know what's gonna land in them. Um, and we are going to cream the butter, peanut butter, brown sugar together. Um, you guys know I'm not usually a big fan of my paddle attachment, but it really wants me to use it, so I'm going to listen. I've heard some brands are not good for that. I always buy the same brand of chocolate chips and Hershey chips and stuff. Is the Nestle's morsels are what I buy. Um, and yeah, I've just not had luck lately, so I don't know if they're one of the companies that it's not recommended or what. So we need uh, half a cup of unsalted butter softened. So I did soften mine in the microwave a little bit before we jumped on the show today. So a stick of butter, one stick is half a cup, and then we need a cup of creamy peanut butter. So I've got a little bit left here in this jar, and then I think I'm going to have to dive into my second jar of Jif to be able to get the full cup for this recipe. Using my measuring cup again, you guys, I will always put the link for this measuring cup in the comment section when I'm all done um, so that you guys can buy your own on Amazon if you love this measuring cup as much as I do. Um, it would be really cool if I could get this measuring cup with like my logo on it and then I could give it out as giveaways all the time because I do give this as a giveaway present often, so it would be cool if I could put my brand name on it. Super awesome. All right. So we use the rest of that peanut butter. Now I'm gonna crack into the second one. Hello, Joy, how are you? Patricia, I have been missing you as well. I'm glad you caught me today. You make haystacks the same way, but use chow mein noodles. My kids always love them. Yes, haystacks I made actually on my show around Christmas time. I made them at my mother-in-law's house on my show and we absolutely loved them. My mother-in-law, I actually, instead of using peanut um, peanuts, in the haystacks, I did cashews, and they actually turned out really well. Paul, I am good, how are you? My husband is not a fan of sweets, however, I made peach upside down cake the other day, and it was loved for everyone in the family. It's a must try. Yes, um, Alexandra, I actually, somebody shared that recipe me the other day, and I actually have made it before, and I shared the picture on, on the post, so I can share it again. Super yummy pineapple upside down cakes. Awesome, you guys. All right. Humidity in the air, it's hard to melt. I don't think we have any humidity in the air here. Um, we're super dry still and cold, but maybe there was humidity in the house somewhere that caused my chips not to melt the right way. All right, so we need a cup of peanut butter, smooth peanut butter just like that there we go and just spin my measuring cup like so Whoop. toss it right out of the measuring cup and then you just clean off the bottom of it and then the sides are clean every time you guys super awesome super useful I'm gonna rinse off my hands and covered in peanut butter already like so all right and I wanna, do wanna say to those of you that are new here and watching me, I'm not a professional, I just do this for fun. Um, I'm just cooking for my family here in the house. So um, if it bothers you that I touch my hair, if it bothers you that I touch my face, I'm sorry, you're gonna have to deal with it because my family doesn't care, I'm a clean person, I shower every day. So I've been getting a lot of comments recently. Um, I'm sorry, I try not to touch my hair as much as possible, but with as, it as long as it is, I sometimes have to touch it and fix it and um, I don't, always want to wear my hair up every time I'm on my show so I'm sorry if it bothers you guys I really am 
Peanut butter is hard to get in Pennsylvania. Amazon has gone sky high with their peanut butter prices. I didn't think I had that measuring cup like you use, but I was reorganizing my kitchen and I found one. So happy. Awesome, you guys. Yep, T, it's still working for my end. I'm not seeing any um, streaming issues, so I'm sorry for any that you're running into those problems that I was frozen. All right, so we've got our cup of creamy peanut butter, half a cup of softened butter, and now we need a cup, you guys, of brown sugar. Brown sugar is my favorite, and the thought of there being an entire cup in this recipe makes me super excited. Thank you, Patty, I appreciate it. Awesome that it's working again, Franny. All right, so I need a cup of brown sugar. Just gonna scoop it out of here and kind of pack it in the measuring cup, like so. Loving my new Pamper Chef measuring cups, you guys. Don't know where they have been all my life, um, but I'm loving them now. So we've got that on our paddle attached. We're gonna lock it and we're just gonna start mixing it like so. Ta-da! My iPad keeps going off. All right, I'm gonna rinse my hands again. I got brown sugar all over them. Tried to wipe it off, but it was not happening. Thank you, Carrie. I appreciate it. I just feel like sometimes I need to at least um, give a response to it because um, if somebody, you know, brings up a comment or concern about my show, I do want to address it so that they know they're being listened to or that I am acknowledging their response. But a yellow one like that, if we could back like an elevator or something, gave them out for Christmas. Um, Brent, it was through Pampered Chef, and it's a little um, terracotta disc that absorbs water. So you soak it in water for a while, and then you put it in your brown sugar, and then it helps keep your brown sugar moist and um, helps it from drying out. So I do that on top of putting it in an airtight container. <laughs> Tea, that would be funny. All right, so this is nice and creamed together. I am going to scrape down the sides of it the best I can try and get my bowl out there we go so I don't fling peanut butter everywhere which I ended up doing anyway like that scrape down the sides make sure you don't have any big pockets of peanut butter or sugar or anything like that nice and smooth you guys awesome awesome I do need a different spatula this was my little guy for my peanut butter and now it is like too small for me to be able to do anything to it all right, there we go. So we've got our peanut butter, our sugar, and our butter all creamed together. Yes, Alexandra, I've had no complaints so far. I've had it for a couple weeks now. My brown sugar has been awesome. No complaints at all. Um, Patricia, I am not done yet. I still have a couple doorways to paint um, my trim and everything. Yep, um, we used to put bread in ours and we just got tired of having to replace the bread all the time. Um, so these discs have been super awesome. All right, so we've got our butter, our brown sugar, and our um, peanut butter on high until it's nice and fluffy. Then we're gonna beat in the eggs and the vanilla. So I'm gonna do a cup of, um, or one egg. I always crack it outside of my mixer so that if any shells get in it, because I'm not perfect, that <laughs> the, the boys are so silly. They've been going through the closet so that I can paint in there. Um, I always do it so that if I get any shells in here, I can take them out without having to dig into the mixture itself. I am going to be using my um, powdered vanilla today instead of my vanilla extract. Um, it's like a vanilla bean powder. It's super concentrated and doesn't bake out like the extracts do. It doesn't leave any kind of alcohol taste behind if you don't bake the recipe. So I love it so far. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm, mine definitely seized up yesterday, but we made the most of it. So I need a teaspoon of vanilla. Another thing that I've been loving are my measuring spoons from Pampered Chef. You guys know I complain all the time about my spoons not fitting into my measure or into my seasonings, and these fit perfectly. So we have our egg and our our powdered vanilla. <laughs> 
Alexandra said, hi little ones, this is Grayson, the other one was Kingston, and this is my husband Rory. Charlene, that's awesome, let me know what you think of the powdered vanilla. Terracotta disc for brown sugar, have used for years, love it, you have to soak it every now and then. <laughs> my family is the funniest, Patricia said. So we've got our egg and our vanilla in here. And now, we are gonna add in our dry ingredients, our our flour, our baking soda, and our salt, and we're gonna beat it on low until the mixture forms a dough. <laughs> so funny, you guys, they are hilarious. Uh, they really are the best family to be cooped up inside with. Uh, there's never a dull moment. We do get um, in each other's hair every once in a while, but um, then we have some funny moments, like they were just acting and it, it makes it all worth it. My kids are awesome and so is my husband. Everyone says hello to you guys. Hello. He says hello. All right, so we are gonna add now our one and two third cups of all-purpose flour. I cannot explain to you guys how amazed and excited I am that my Pampered Chef has two thirds of a cup. It's the silliest thing, but it's the little things that matter, you guys. Being able to just scoop once with a measuring cup instead of having to go in twice with a third really makes a difference, you guys. Yes, Courtney, I love when my family um, stops in to hang out with us while I am cooking. So I am doing a cup and two thirds of flour. Just gonna kind of put it in there. There's my two thirds of a cup. And here is my other cup. Um, what's awesome about these measuring cups, too, is it comes with a little stick to um, help level off the ingredients. I usually just use a knife, but it's nice to have um, something that's dedicated just to that purpose, which is super nice. All right, so we've got our flour in there. One and two-thirds cup of flour. Then we need a teaspoon of baking soda. What I also like about that vanilla powder, and like I said, it's the little things in life, but now my teaspoon isn't wet from the vanilla extract, and I don't have to try and dry it off to use the teaspoon again to get a teaspoon of baking soda in there. Then we need half a teaspoon of salt. Lacey, yes, you do. You do need that. You do, you do. And so two thirds and a three fourths, you guys. Those two measurements seriously are life changing. All right, so we're just gonna turn it on nice and low, you guys. I like to do just little bursts so that we don't get a big flower cloud as I turn this on. Yes, two thirds and three fourths, you guys. It is the silliest thing to think about that something that little could really mean that much to somebody, but three fourths of a cup and two thirds of a cup. Two measuring cups that I haven't had all my life and don't know how I lived without them before now. Super awesome. Whoever thought of adding those to the group of measuring cups seriously is a person after my heart because it is the most life-changing baking experience I've ever run into. To not have to buy them separate, they all came together. Super awesome. Yes, you guys, Jennifer has a party going on right now. Um, she signed up through my party, so please buy from her. Um, super awesome, you guys. If you missed out on my Pampered Chef party, get in on hers. Nope, my, my storage containers are just OXO is the name brand of those. I got them at Home Goods. They came in a huge set for super cheap, and that's where my containers came from. Yes, you guys. So if you have a Home Goods, you guys know it's a bargain shopping store. Um, Home Goods has them um, in in packs, and they also sell them separately. But obviously, buying them in the big pack really saved me money. All right. So we've got that all mixed in, you guys. Our peanut butter dough is done and ready. Lacey, yes. Um, Jennifer, can you send Lacey the link, please, for the Pampered Chef party? All right. So we've got our baking sheets here. Um, with our, our parchment paper or wax paper or spray them the best you can um, but lay something down so that the cookies don't stick. I have made peach cobbler last night and it was so good. Very unhealthy recipe but so good. Been baking a lot during the quarantine. I love home goods too. Tea, it's okay. 
you just need to come and bake for me so that I don't have to bake all the time. <laughs> How does that sound? You guys, awesome. Get your reactions in. Get your reactions in on the post so we can do our giveaway. We're doing one giveaway today. We were so close to 80, but it's okay. We had like 120 people watching towards giveaway time um, on Thursday, which was super awesome. So we've got our dough all formed up. Now we are going to add a fourth of a cup of granulated sugar to a little bowl and we are gonna roll our peanut butter dough in this as well as um, adding our truffles to it. So we're gonna use our hands to scoop out two tablespoons of dough, we're gonna flatten it and then we're gonna put our truffles in the middle of it. So I'm gonna go grab our peanut butter and um, grab our peanut butter and our butter stuffed out of the fridge. Oh no, mine's not cold enough yet you guys. I should have put it in the freezer. All right, hold on. I am going to... Okay, so I turned my freezer on power freeze. So I'm hoping that that will um, bring that um, butterscotch and peanut butter to the right temperature so that we can put them in the middle of our cookie dough. If not, we'll do our giveaway, then we will come back and make our truffles then. So what I'm gonna do first gonna have to roll us out of our houses when we're done baking this much right you guys <laughs> um yes you guys jennifer um feel free to put the link in the comment section and then i will just pin it so that everyone can find the pampered chef link all right so what we're gonna do since our truffles aren't ready yet we're just gonna prep our peanut butter um cookie dough so that it'll just be ready to wrap up and put our truffles in the middle of it um, I will also put the links for these cookie scoops. My dad got them for me for Christmas. They come in a three pack, super awesome and helpful. So this is two teaspoons in size. This is one and a half tablespoons and then I have one that's three tablespoons. Um, <laughs> yes, thank you Jennifer. Um, so what we're gonna do, it says two tablespoons of peanut butter dough. So I'm gonna do kind of a heaping one of these since this itself they said is one and a half. So I'm gonna kind of do a little bit over and hope that's at, that that's about two. And we're gonna just roll it out like this and then we are going to flatten it a little bit and then once our truffles are ready, we'll put those in the middle. So I'm just gonna kind of lay them on this cookie sheet, get them all ready to um, get their truffle in them, but wait for those to cool down. Like I said, I put my freezer on power freeze. What that does, um, what's really nice is, you know, when you have your fridge open for a while, um, when you get done at the grocery store, and you push that button on my freezer or my fridge, they both do it, and then it brings it down in temperature. Um, that's not gonna work. It brings it down in temperature for you so that you don't have to worry about your items that are already in there going bad because it had gotten too warm. Awesome, thank you, Jennifer. And I will, oh, it's not gonna let me. Well, I liked it. It won't let me pin it unless I post it. Oh, no, it did. Okay, there we go. Pinned. Awesome, you guys. So that is the link for Pampered Chef if you guys are interested at all in buying any of the awesome measuring cups or anything like that that I've been using today. So we are going to keep scooping this stuff up. Um, if you are new to my show, you guys, I do everything in real time. I don't make anything ahead of time. And the reason for that being I do share my recipes a couple of days before I go live so that you guys can maybe get the ingredients and cook along with me. Um, it's my favorite thing is to have you guys cooking along with me. I do it all in real time so that if we need to stop and maybe answer some questions or something about the recipe isn't working out for us, we can stop, we can um, reset and um answer the questions that are happening to the ingredients um, just like if we were to be cooking along with me and your truffle stuff isn't set up either you could have commented and said hey mine's not set up yet and um, we would then adjust a little bit so that we could um, keep up the same speed on this yes Sherry um, I'm digging the cookie scoops super awesome my dad got me them for Christmas one of um, one of the many awesome Christmas presents that I got but my cookie scoops have come in handy because uh, before that I used to make recipes and my balls are either way too big or way too small. It's okay, Jennifer. It is okay. Glad you got the sound back, Laura. I don't know what is happening with Facebook today. Hopefully it's not my fault, but it's very possible that 
Um, I'm sure there are just times 10 people on their internets than when they used to be because everybody's sitting at home. So I am sure that we're kind of overloaded on the mainframe, but I'm sure it will be okay. So we're gonna keep going. It says it makes about, what, 20, 21 cookies. What a funny number, 21. So not quite two dozen. Hi, Grayson. So we're just gonna kind of lay these out and get them ready for my truffles. I'm gonna power blast the freezer again. It says it's negative two degrees in my freezer now. So I'm hoping that that will help those truffles set up a little bit. Um, if you are doing this recipe, you guys can definitely do the peanut butter and butterscotch ahead of time so that um, you're not having to wait around for it to get cool. Um, it does say that you can make it ahead of time um, and then you just kind of stir, stir it and wait for it to set up a little bit. Then you'll scoop it and then you can um, put them on a cookie sheet all scooped out and put them back in the fridge until you're ready to use them. Hello, Tiffany, how are you guys? How are you doing? I'm sure you guys are just as sad as us that the weather is the way it is here in North Dakota lately. It's so cold, so much snow, it's miserable. So we've got two, four, six, eight, 10, 11, and then we will do another 10 here, hopefully. Thank you, Lacey. I love my fridge too. Lacey's favorite thing about my fridge is it has three fridge compartments. Um, the third of the fridge compartments is actually, um, it can do a bunch of different things. It can be a fridge, it can be um, a meat fridge, which is a little bit colder than a regular fridge, or it can be a soft freeze, or it can be a hard freeze, which is awesome to be able to change it like that. But I keep it um, on the meat temperature, and then I put sodas and fruit in there. Um, and Lacey's favorite thing is to come to my house and grab an apple out of the fridge, and it's super cold and delicious out of that fridge. So she loves it for that reason. Love my fridge too though. All right, doing my best you guys to make these so that they are ready for our truffles. So then what we will do, we'll scoop our little truffle balls and then we will stick them in the middle of this cookie and then you will wrap the edges of the cookie up and around the truffles and make sure that they are completely encapsulated by the cookie dough. Then we will roll the cookie dough in some granulated sugar and we will bake them in the oven for nine to 10 minutes. And then you need to allow them to cool for about 10 minutes before you transfer them to the wire rack. Um, the recipe also says that obviously as the cookies start to cool, the inside will start to harden a little bit. Um, so they does say if you want a nice gooey center every time you eat the cookie, that you just need to microwave it for five to 10 seconds and the, the middle will get ooey gooey again. So that's super awesome. You guys, we are really close. Once I'm done with this, we will do our giveaway. So make sure you guys are leaving your reactions on the post, a heart, a laugh, a thumbs up, anything like that. The little bar at the bottom of your screen um, where all the reactions are, just leave a reaction there. I don't care what it is, a wow, uh, a ha, ha, ha uh, an angry face, you name it. A reaction is a reaction. It gets your name entered into the giveaway. There are always food and cooking related items that I send directly to you. Um, right now, Amazon has suspended some of their shipments. So sometimes people are getting their giveaway prizes and sometimes they are not coming until April 23rd, it says. So you will get it, I promise, and it will be an awesome cookie, cooking kitchen related food item. Arkansas, it's been raining and cool. Yeah, it's been snowing here and cool. It's like three degrees the other day with wind chill. So two, four, six, eight. Yep, I think we'll have just enough cookie dough, which is awesome. I never hit the nail on the head like that because of my cookie scoops. But now with my cookie scoops, we are doing the right thing. Sad, Cherry. I don't know what I would do if anybody in my family couldn't have peanuts. My cousin is allergic, and I don't know how he does it. 
we um, our go-to, you know, our peanut butter sandwiches and peanut butter cookies and granola bars and stuff with peanut butter in it. So, um, just sad. I wish there was like an easy alternative to peanut butter, but some of the other nut butters just aren't the same. They don't melt the same. They don't cook the same. Um, so it's hard to make that kind of switch. Um, when you're baking. I keep leaving my ring imprint in these cookies. All right, so we have those all done. I'm gonna wash my hands, and then we're gonna do our giveaway. T, um, will you pick a number between one and 10? Yep, ours got canceled. Yep, um, and so we had to cancel our Vegas trip. We were gonna go to Vegas April 16th through the 20th, so we had to cancel that trip already. Um, Lori and I have a cruise we were supposed to go on in the end of May. So we'll see if, if we have to cancel that too. I know a lot of common opinion is that we will have to cancel it. Um, what's awesome about our cruise at least is if you cancel, you get 125% credit back um, for future travel, which is nice. Wow Butter has no peanuts and tastes just like the real stuff. Ooh, that's good to know. Sherry, um, what other stuff is he allergic to? So we're gonna set these aside for a second and we're gonna do our giveaway. I'm gonna check on the peanut butter really quick and see how we're doing in the... Yep, I think we're actually good, you guys. I'm gonna stir it around a little bit. Um, the edges are freezing and we don't want that so I'm just gonna stir it down. I'm gonna stick it back in. We will do our giveaway, and then we'll make our truffles. Hey, crazy monsters. All right, so I think, yep, it's almost ready to be able to make truffles, you guys. The edges are definitely frozen, so that's why it does say to stir it as you're waiting for it to cool down. Monsters just here you go. All right, putting that back in the fridge. We're gonna do our giveaway really quick, and then we're gonna finish our cookies. I could eat an entire bowl. <laughs> okay, my computer is right here. We will do our giveaway. Um, T, did you pick natural peanut butter works in a recipe? Um. I'm using this one. I'm not sure if that's the same as the one you're asking about, but this is what I'm using in our recipe today. Fingers crossed. So number six, in case it got lost. Thank you, T. Sherry, I hope so. I mean, you know, it's it's bad enough that all this is happening, but then it's even harder, you know, having something that we're looking forward to be canceled, which is even harder, obviously, because it's something we're looking forward to, a glimmer of hope in this drudgery that we've been living in lately, um, and that's really hard to deal with. So canceling our trip was really hard for me to do. I didn't want to. I fought it tooth and nail for a while, um, but I finally just gave in and canceled it. So I'm glad we got all of our money back. I think the only place we haven't yet is the car rental company. It says it may take up to 30 days to give us our money back, but everything else is already returned back to our car to come in a voucher. So that we are really lucky for because we had spent um, a pretty penny to be able to go on this trip. All right, you guys. So I'm going to refresh one more time and then we're going to do this giveaway and seeing about 92 people that left a reaction, which is super awesome, you guys. Um, and then we will do number six, will be the number of a name that we call, yep, 92. So get these names entered in. And then we will get going on our giveaway and then we will finish making some of our cookies. All right, here we go. Highlight all the names in the list. I love that I finally figured out a decent way to do our giveaways, you guys. That was so hard before having to type in everyone's name. Yes, good luck, Jenny. Good luck, everybody. Um, and so, so glad, so glad that I found a different way to do the giveaways because that was really hard on me. It took a lot of time. Um, it was kind of confusing. Um, so I'm just glad we don't have to do that anymore. <laughs> All right, getting these names 
filtered and sorted. Um, if you have one already for the month of April, you cannot win again. So we had two winners last week. Um, I want to say Diane Johnson, I think, was one. And... I can't remember what the other one is, but I'm going to have to start writing it down again. Hello, Evelyn. How are you? Good luck, everybody. Yes, cakes in the place of eggs. I use applesauce and ice cream. I freeze bananas. Um, yeah, there was something I needed to replace um, the other day while I was cooking. I didn't have eggs, and so I replaced it with vinegar and something else it was the craziest thing but it worked and i was really happy that i didn't have to go and get eggs that day for whatever recipe i was making all right so we got our names entered in we are going to do number six it's going to be our winner and then we will finish making our cookies so like i said if you have won already for the month of april you can't win again if i pull your name i do remove it so it can't be pulled twice here we go number one shauna number two Two, John, number three, Courtney, four, Cindy, five, Ellen, and number six. Kelly Wedgworth. Kelly Wedgworth, you are our winner today. Please send me your shipping information and I will get something sent off to you. And let's get finished on our cookies. All right. So we've got our peanut butter that, cookies that are all flattened out here. And we have our butterscotch peanut butter creation. They're calling it a truffle. So we're going to scoop it out. This is about a two teaspoon scoop of it. It says to use a tablespoon, but I'm just gonna kinda make use of the cookie scoop I have. And we're gonna take it and we're gonna close up our cookie around the truffle, like so. Um, you wanna make sure it's completely closed up. And we're gonna just keep it going like that. Scoop it out, put it in the middle. I'm gonna kinda roll it so that it's a ball. That was a mistake. My hands warmed that up really fast. Congratulations to the winner, you guys. Um, super awesome. I appreciate all of your guys' support during this crazy time. I really, really do. I really appreciate it. You guys are awesome um, and supportive and really are um, hanging out with you guys is a bright spot in my weeks when I get to come in here and cook with you guys and hang out and talk. It's like my adult interaction that I miss. I love my boys, but having some adult interaction with you guys is um, something really to cherish and look forward to. So we're going to just kind of encapsulate all of these. Rory, do you want to wash your hands and maybe help me for a sec? So I'm going to have Rory step in and hopefully he'll be able to do this. He's not a baker, but he tries to help me, which I appreciate. Try and get some of these cookies done the best we can, like so. Um, after we are done with this, we're going to flatten them a little bit. And then we are going to roll them in granulated sugar before we bake them, which is going to just add extra yumminess to the creation. Yes, Jennifer, of course. Like I said, I look forward to this, so I think I will can keep continuing to do this. Um, hopefully I can keep doing the giveaways, but if that changes down the line, I do apologize ahead of time. I know you guys all understand and appreciate it, um, and I will just keep doing it as long as I can. All right, so what you do like this, you take a little scoop, into the middle and then you're gonna kind of just roll the dough around it it will break like that but the heat of your hands will bring the dough back together so you guys will notice that um your your cookie dough is a little crumbly but the heat of your hands will um help the cookie dough re-encapsulate the little truffle on the inside so you'll take it like this flip it over Kind of use your hands, you guys, the best you can. He is so ready, you guys. 
Eileen, hello, how are you? Um, if you guys don't know, this is Rory. This is my husband. He is here helping me now. Hopefully we can get these done. He's kind of a slow truffle scooper, but that's okay. I will forgive him for now. Peter's gonna hate. <laughs> Doesn't have to be perfect, babe. Just a little scoop of the truffle stuff will work. Perfect. Yep, that's fine. Even if it rolls away, I can grab it and stick it back on a cookie. So he's gonna scoop my truffles for me so that I can keep rolling these. Um, it does kind of break my heart a little bit that half of you guys dropped off after the giveaway was done, but I know the group of you that stayed are the ones that matter, the ones that really support me and love Good watching job. my show. So thank you guys for those of you that hung out and stuck with me. Yes, you guys, he is so sweet, he is awesome. He tries his best to help me, especially now that um, he is laid off of work, so he has to spend uh, time with me here at the house all the time. He's been helping me with my painting, he's been taping for me, which he hates, but and he's not very good at it. But he does it, and that's I'm what good. matters. I'm good now. <laughs> he's getting better at how Got many- technique down. <laughs> Love you too, doodles, how are you? <laughs> I've been getting all your text messages in the group's text doodles. I just haven't had a chance to answer them yet. But we are making these yummy peanut butter cookies um, that will have a, a gooey peanut butter scotch, butterscotch center. Um, they're going to take about 9 to 10 minutes to bake, it says. So we're going to do this. All right. I'm going to kind of space these cookies out. These are going to be the first ones to go in. So I'm going to do... It says to just flatten them a little bit. I'm not sure how much we should flatten, but we're gonna flatten them just a little bit. This one cracked open. That's what I don't want to happen because we don't want our gooey center to come out. So I'm rolling them in the sugar and then I'm gonna put them in the oven to bake. I love when cookies don't take long to bake. 10 to 15 minutes is awesome. You don't have to wait too long for them. I like um, underbaked cookies, but I'm gonna give these ones a chance since the center will be ooey and gooey anyway. Hello, James, how are you? Um, let me know if you want some of these peanut butter cookies for you and Nikki. Um, I'm sure Rory would love to come in and drop them off to you. Um, a little bribery <laughs> a little bribery to get you to the house to redo our kitchen floors for us. A little bribery and I'm not, um, I'm not shy to admit it. Hello, Sherry, thank you. I'm glad you are still here. Yes, Courtney, I think any kid would love these. If your kid loves peanut butter, these cookies um, would be a dream come true. Little peanut butter, like peanut butter scotcheroo cookies almost. If there's a little chocolate in them, they would be scotcheroo. So we're gonna pop these in the oven at 350. Always open your oven away from your face. Let that heat escape so that you don't burn yourself. And then I'm gonna set my timer for nine minutes. And then I'm gonna finish doing the rest of these. Brent, that would be so fun. Brent wants you to try and do one of my cooking shows to see like how it would go. It would be all bad. <laughs> nobody would watch. Uh, I think everybody would watch, but right, nobody would, would watch, be able to make what he wants to make. Anything I make, he will take. James, you missed out on one of the best banana desserts I have made in a long time. Um, it was really good. My friend Charlene gave me the recipe, um, and I know you've been wanting a banana cream pie, and this has, it was like the sheet, or it was like a casserole version of a banana cream pie. There was vanilla wafer cookies in it and bananas, and this yummy like vanilla custard. It was so good. Um, I'm thinking, Rory, the vote so far is that you need to do the show. <laughs> yeah. Um, Michelle, I think normally for regular peanut butter cookies you would, um, but for these, since they um, are covered in sugar and we've got this um, butterscotch center, um, I'm not going to make any indents in it because I don't want to risk the chance of the cookie breaking open and oozing the yummy butterscotch center out. Deborah, yes, you do need to make them. You do, you do, you guys. These smell amazing, they look amazing, and I cannot wait to try one with some milk. There's nothing better than milk with peanut butter. Um, I think it would be yummy too to like break up some little salted pretzels and put them in with the truffles in the center. I love salty sweet, and I think it would be really good to do that. I'll make you one, James. I have all the stuff to make it, so I will make you one 
and send it with Rory. Yes, we love peanut butter in this house too. Thank you, Rory. You've really saved me a lot of time. Gotcha. Thanks, babe. Yeah, Michelle. Thank you. Yep, it's the, the ooey gooey center that changes what, what we normally would do with these peanut butter cookies. The ooey gooey center changes the game. You know, the perfect amount? Yes, Mary Jo, I've never done stuffed cookies either. This will be my first. Okay. So. Yes, Eileen, I think it would be really good to just crush up some, oh. some pretzels into the center of these cookies. I, um, that's what I love about like monster cookies because they're like peanut butter with pretzels and other stuff, but I like that it's peanut butter with pretzels for the most part. All right, so our last one, little baby cookie with a big truffle center. All right, now I'm gonna take them and I'm gonna just flatten them a little bit. We'll figure out with these first batch if I'm gonna need to flatten them a little bit more or not. Flatten them. I'm gonna try and um, seal off some of the cracks that form when you go to flatten them. Just kind of push on them to seal up those cracks. <sighs> so you're not bringing them to West Virginia, I take it. Um, I don't know if you're talking to me, Mallory, but nope. Not. I'm not sending cookies there, and we're not going on any trips anytime soon, which is sad and unfortunate. Um, our high school reunion is, one is in Vegas, and I'm sad that we're not going to get to go there and see um, my stepsisters and stuff that live there. My dad was going to drive up and hang out with us, and we won't get to do that either, which is a huge bummer because the kiddos miss their, their papa really bad. All right, now we're going to roll them in the sugar again. Hello, Nicole. How are you? I hope you and your daughter are surviving out there. I know times are tough with school being shut down and all that stuff. It's just crazy what some places deem essential and what other places don't. So um, in Arizona, they had kept um, the golf course open, but they had shut down gyms and pickleball courts and soccer courts and stuff like that, soccer fields, and um, everyone pitched a fit about it, so they opened it all back up. So instead of shutting down the golf course, they opened all the other sports places back up, which I think is a very irresponsible um, decision to make on the governor's part, but, and it's just dangerous. My mom lives there and it's a little nerve wracking to think about. <laughs> Mallory, it's okay. I did miss your first comment, but it's okay. All right. We've got about four minutes left on the cookies that are in the oven. You're trying, we all are, have to go and cook. Can't wait to see the final cookie and hear how they are. Cindy, thank you, have fun cooking, you guys. Um, congratulations to my winner today. I'm gonna let you guys peek at the cookies and then I will let you guys go and I will post a picture when they are all done. So we're about halfway through. I'm thinking the um, other cookies. I'm gonna flatten these a little bit more because it doesn't look like they're flattening much in the oven at all. But we will wait and see what happens over the next four or five minutes. So I will post a picture when they are all done, you guys. Thank you for hanging out with me. I will see you guys again on Monday. I'm not sure what we're gonna make, but it's gonna be yummy. Thanks for hanging out, guys. Bye.